Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box as always for all kinds of nice links. Got some new links down there as well. Uh, just check that out. And also, thanks for all the support and everything. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here you go. Next video, I'm hella sick still. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep working at it. So uh, we got to change all these states, right? We need to do state data here state data reference state data and that is just going to be all the data for the state um, and it's going to be sent in through here and it's going to be sent into the constructor for uh, for the original state so we just have to go back down 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 right here and we're just going to do this and we don't have to change all that much. We just have to send it into state. Um, like this. Now GFX settings. Is something main menu state has. But what we could do is we could have that in each state. So we can access it. So I want to just go ahead and, and control X that real quick. And put that into state.h. Okay, yeah, I do have GFX settings right there. Okay, cool. So we have GFX settings. And this might take a little while to get right, just so you know. Um, because uh, there's a lot of things to to change, basically. Now, in, insert. Okay, there we go. This has to be... When you create the states as well, we just want to do state data. Um and that we have a reference here boom 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 and we're gonna have to save the state data in here uh, as a pointer wait where are we let me just let me just figure this out wait uh, state data right here variables oh this is the state data okay gfx settings uh, right here state data pointer state data so it's going to be outside and we want to just make sure we set this pointer when we send it in so we can kind of save it right that's pretty important to uh, to remember um so to do that what i'm going to do is this state data equals uh, state data and since that is a reference, I'm just going to do that. It will be easier with a pointer, though. We have to decide now. But the thing is, if we keep it a... No, it, it should. It will be easier with a pointer, actually. Let's just change that to pointers here before we get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, so we just put that in the state constructor, both the H and the CPP file. So you have those as pointers here. Okay. And then, obviously, this is going to complain. Um... But that's a good way to save the state data. And remember, state data is only, it only exists basically in, let me just close all this other crap for now. Let me just explain as well as I can. Um, it only exists in game. So this state data I'm changing here, this is the actual state data object. And I'm just sending that in as a pointer into all of these other ones, right? Um, so for example, here, I'm just going to send in that object data okay and it is a reference but we want to send it in as a pointer so go back to game.cpp just put the address operator in front of here and then we're going to change that in here in this main menu state just change this to a little pointer um, in the constructor right okay so once you do that each state will hold its own state data, um, what do you call it, object basically, a pointer to it. Then we don't really need all these other pointers here and everything that has to do with state data. So because it, it contains all that stuff already. But we'll all, we'll trim this out a little later. Uh, but for now, this is, this is fine. So state data keeps track of the grid size, for example. We don't need to have that uh, as its own variable once you do that um, 
most stuff should be fine, except some of these things might not work properly. But you want to send in, for example, GFX settings is complaining. Um, but for now, that is fine. You could just see if it runs by doing this. This state data dot GFX settings like that and just dereference that because that is a pointer. Now let's just run this. Let's see if it actually works. Probably it's going to be a lot of freaking errors and shit. Error list. Okay, uh, where are the actual errors? These aren't really errors. Editor state. Okay, state takes state data. Okay, so we're going to have to pretty much change all of these anyway. Uh, pointer state data. And then state data. Let's turn this down for now. So we start with the editor state, okay? Let's open up editor state dot h. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a fix. So don't worry too much. It, it seems like it, but it's not really. State data. Data. There you go. So editor state is pretty much done. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, so close that down. Let's go into game state and change this. The constructor, where is it here? State uh, data pointer. You can just copy this. And then in the constructor for game state. Easy as that, no big deal. Okay. Very simple, close that down. Main menu state was uh, not done yet. We'll keep that open still. Uh, setting state. Put that right here. So what do we have? GFX settings. Um, and we don't really need this then. Let's remove GFX settings from there. And some stuff's gonna complain here, but we'll we'll solve that in a second. Go down to the constructor, paste this beautiful line of code, and then state data. I'll remove that real quick. And wherever it complains, I'm just gonna do this state data gfx settings uh, what is the problem mm. oh that's the pointer that's why gfx settings title uh, this state data pointer state data pointer okay so there we go now pretty much fixed for now we'll, we'll solve that later but at least it's not complaining anymore so let's just say setting state is done then we're gonna just yeah pretty much it's pretty much done now in main menu state we just have to send in the state data thingy and um, so this state data that pointer right there so all we have to send in to all of these and then we'll store all that beautiful data for us and obviously when we create yeah the state data and that is a reference okay so if we run this now we'll probably have just a few more errors pretty sure error list okay that's quite a bit of errors um States is a state data state to unknown type. Okay. Uh, what is this? Wait, this is in game, right? Window. Let's just go into state.cpp and let us see state.h state data. Do that as well. Grid size, window, GFX settings, state. I think this is complaining because I need to do that above 
so it knows that state exists. Now it's generating code. Yeah, that's what we had to do. We'll just forward declare that. And then we got our running little thing here. Settings. Okay, we got the settings going. Editor. Okay, so there we go. Now that was pretty good. Now we fixed most of the problems. Just make sure, just completely, completely make sure that you get forward declare that in state. Okay, since we have state data above the class state, it won't be able to find all this stuff for state here. So just make sure you declare it above as well. It's just like the forward declaring a function with the header up here. Sorry for being so slow and sick and I'm just really tired. I haven't been able to explain stuff well enough. But basically this object, we have that again, just to sum up if you want to hear it. Uh, if you don't really understand properly, we have one object here in game, our engine. Our game is only going to have one state data object. And it will contain all this beautiful information. Um, all this beautiful information that we need to send to other states when we create them. Okay. And a state will keep track of that original state data pointer as well. So once we create the first state here, uh, main menu, we send that into the main menu as a, as a pointer to the pointer, basically. And main menu will in turn send that into any other state that we create and it will keep track of all that data and this just helps us you know put all this data into one little container that we'll send around a little box filled with a lot of data that we can send around all these states and then as you saw we can access that data wherever we want so we don't have to you know theoretically we don't have to keep all this crap here so we're gonna probably work on that in the next video just finalize all this stuff and then we should be fine but thank you so much for watching for now hope you understood just watch the video again try to follow all the steps slowly uh, try to not jump around but sometimes it happens but anyway there you go so thank you so much for watching take care best of luck and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye